A few people are really annoyed at something I said in my review of this Happy Model Express LRS module that, okay, it wasn't quite true. It was mostly true. See, I said that this Happy Model Express LRS module and the Happy Model EP2 receivers, now that you can buy pre-made Express LRS receivers from brands like Happy Model, Beta, FPV, Naminmo, and more, you don't have to do all that flashing nonsense. You just un take the module out, bind it, and away you go. And then the very next thing I showed you how to do was flash the module with your binding phrase because the freaking receiver doesn't have a bind button. So how are you supposed to bind an Express LRS receiver without flashing it? I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. Well, in case you don't believe me, here is a Happy Model EP2 Express LRS receiver, and there's no bind button on it. And no, it's not on the other side either. And no, if we were to look at the bigger receivers from uh, like the Beta FPV receivers, which are bigger, or the Naminmo receivers, they don't have a bind button either. Express LRS receivers don't have a bind button. And the reason for that, before I show you the secret, the reason for that is that the Express LRS devs feel that flashing the receiver should not be a big impediment. In fact, flashing the receiver is the best way to make sure that the firmware version and the options that you've set on your module match the firmware version and the options on your receiver. And when you've got a firmware with as many options as Express LRS, that's important. So, the Express LRS devs have gone out of their way to make it as easy as possible to flash these receivers. They have Wi-Fi built in. You can flash them using pass-through as well through the USB port on your flight controller, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work. They have Wi-Fi on them. Literally a Wi-Fi, you could attach to them with your phone and flash them through your web browser on your phone. What more do you want? I got a video about how to do that, by the way. Link in the video description if you're not, if you're feeling a little intimidated. But I said that you could take these out of the package, bind them and go without ever. They're ready to go. And I was not being untruthful because there's a secret way. It's not a secret. It's in the wiki. But who reads the wiki, right? There's a secret way of putting an Express LS receiver into bind mode without ever pressing a bind button. And the secret way is to plug and unplug a battery three times in a row. All right, so let's give this a try. And I want you to keep an eye on this little orange LED right here. That is the receiver status LED. And right now it is blinking slowly, meaning it is not bound or not, or the, or the controller's turned off anyway. So here we go. We're gonna plug and unplug three times. One. Two. Three, no, it didn't, it didn't do it. Maybe it didn't go fast enough. Let's try it faster. One, two, three, there we go, there we go. So just basically waited for one flash of the LED and unplugged immediately. And now the receiver is double blinking, which means it's in binding mode. What about the module? Well, in this case, some of the modules do, in fact, have a bind button. This is the Beta FPV Slim Express LRS module, and this button here on the back is the bind button. To put it in bind mode, you go one, two, three. You press it three times, it goes into bind mode, and it will bind. If you don't have that module, like, maybe there's a bind button somewhere inside this Happy Model module. I don't know. But just go into your Express LRS Lua script, and, of course, you can put the module into binding mode there. And there you go. She's bound, guys. And you see, we have telemetry here, and we have a solid orange LED on the receiver. Perfect. Now, before you go, there is a catch here. If you have flashed the receiver with a binding phrase, then it will not do this trick. It will only do this trick if the receiver does not currently have a binding phrase, because binding phrase is the preferred way of binding in Express LRS, and they don't want you to override 
an intentional binding phrase by accidentally plugging and unplugging three times in a row. Um, so basically, you're going to need a brand new receiver from the factory, which they don't ship with a binding phrase so that they will do this. Or you could reflash your receiver and in the Express LRS configurator, you could untick the binding phrase option. But I don't know why you would do that because if you're flashing your receiver, then flash it with the binding phrase and skip this whole process. Fair enough. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Happy fly. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.